My name is Eddie Tofbeek. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. An interesting day yesterday. After the previous two sessions constructed what I call a compound key reversal up, we had yesterday an indecisive doji cross, but with a very long tongue. Now this tongue was long enough to peak up over the flatlining medium moving average, currently at 120.56. That was the next resistance, but not strong enough to stay over it. Additionally, I have a concern that the last two days may be forming a possible three day bearish evening doji star pattern. Now this idea is not set in stone. It depends if we have a bearish black marabozo or similar today. However, it has the ability to do so. Anyway, below we have support from the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 119 and three quarters, and a short medium moving average currently 119.67. So far today, well, a small sign of some bearishness. Caution though, this market is still trying to make up its mind, it seems. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A higher but bearish black crow yesterday. The congestion around the March highs at 139.99 seems to have tempered the recent rise, maybe even forming a possible two day tweezer top. However, that is not certain yet, so I have not labeled the chart, uh, the chart as yet. Below we have some congestion in the 139 even to 139.18 area and then the short medium moving average currently at 138.65. Though to be honest the market did not pause there uh, on its way up so it may now be suspect. Overall we are still well within the June to September 2020 bullish shift pitchfork with the lower time below currently at 136.99 and the middle time above currently 141.58. Please remember, this pitchfork has been giving the bullish angle of attack of this market since September of last year. So far today, a very, very limited attempt lower, but seemingly without any follow through, as we're back where we started, in a limited range so far. Euro Sterling. A countering bullish piercing line pattern yesterday, a seeming reaction to the last two sessions of bearishness, especially Friday's key reversal down. Prices ended up closing right on the declining short medium moving average, currently at 86.29. Overhead, we still have the close line of the April 2020 low from which resistance hangs at 86.69. Further down, and interestingly, the low of yesterday is the slowly rising short medium, short moving average, sorry, currently at 86.06. Beyond that, we have some support from the base of the old descending triangle at 85.45. This is all a bit of a disappointment to the bulls who followed their weekly key reversal up seen two weeks ago. Additionally, this jeopardizes chances for a monthly key reversal. Now, we are still on for that but we need to close on the 30th of April either above 86.70 or below 85.10. Currently, we've moved into a possible lesser outside month right now. Now, so far today, well, nothing. The market is currently hanging around the short medium moving average and stalling there. US dollar against the Indian rupee. A second bullish white soldier yesterday, but more importantly, it was a key reversal up and a bullish long white marabozo. Now this put back on track the move up towards target X4 at the 75.80 area, the target for the double bottom formed over this year so far. I'm still not sure whether it was a closing below the old 50% Fibonacci of the February to April 2020 move at 74.26 or the nearby sharply rising late March based uptrend currently at 74 and a half which started this whole move up. Maybe it was both. Whichever it was it brings target X4 a lot closer. So far today a further gain and a new high for 2021. 
moving closer yet again to target X4. We're now testing congestion at 75.53 as well as the April 2020 today downtrend currently at 75.5. The next significant congestion is at 76.39, that's the June 2020 high. Now we do have some congestion overhead beforehand but is not clearly defined as yet. US dollar against the Brazilian real. A reactionary, bullish, piercing line pattern yesterday. This is a response to the market's move down and out of the recent sideways triangle, raising as it does something I cautioned about yesterday, a possible false break lower. We ended the day right on the combination of the uptrend of the sideways triangle, currently at 557.63, which is also the lower time of the recent January to March bullish shift pitchfork plus its partner, the rising short medium moving average currently at 557.43. Now, all this doesn't mean the attempt lower has failed. It just means there's a possibility of failure. That is all. Uh, we'll still keep for the moment the potential target below, but I will still not mark it on the downside because obviously it has not been confirmed. I can nevertheless read it to you. It's in the 541 and a half area. But please be cautious about this. It is still early on. Just remember, six out of ten times the break is usually on the upside to one of these sideways triangles. Additionally, being so far along the triangle, we have a high degree of false breaks and pullbacks as well. Something like 60 to 70 percent of the time. So please watch carefully. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A reactionary move yesterday, a combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern. This after making a new low not seen since mid January. The high peaked at the important early March to date downtrend currently at 1993.48, with the close just underneath it. This is a very, very interesting action as it puts the recent bearish patterns and their subsequent targets into doubt. To recap those, it was a continuation of an idea I raised two weeks ago of, and I quote, uh, recent action also leaves the way open for a possible descending wedge, descending triangle, or even a double bottom pattern, end of quote. Now, we've already achieved the descending wedge target. What we now have are two possible head and shoulders tops, one from mid-January, late March, and another from late February, early April. In the first case, we have an initial target X3 in the 1971-70 area, for full target X4 down in 19 even. In the second case, we have an initial target X1 in the 19 and a half area, for full target X2 down in the 1885 area. This only leaves the idea of a possible double bottom and that will depend if target X1 holds. However, as I've already stated repeatedly in recent days, all these depend on the market not, repeat, not breaking the steep early March to date downtrend. Now, so far today, a further attack on the downtrend, though with limited success, it seems. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.